Berkeley supports a surprising variety of life. But in May 2019, a UN report predicted a million species are bound for extinction. So I set out to discover which animals are most threatened right here in our own backyards. This is the edge of extinction. There is so much going on just in my little patch of backyard. I literally come out into my garden and stare at patches of flowers just to watch all the different bees come in. Jamie Puelek is a conservation biologist specializing in urban bees. Most people probably have no idea that there are well over 100 species of bees living in their city. Jamie's garden is bursting with life, but that doesn't reflect the bigger picture. We know that some bees have already gone extinct. One of the major things that bees are threatened by is loss of habitat. In urban areas, we're covering over the natural landscape that the bees would naturally be using. Other threats include chemical use and climate change, but research on bees is severely lacking. A lot of long-term data just isn't available yet, so that is a huge thing that people are concerned with is because how do we know if the populations are doing bad if we've never kept track of them before? Pito Boisky is the assistant director of UC Berkeley's Museum of Entomology. So I've been working with insects about 20 years. No, we're at 30 years now. We are expecting from recent reports to see a massive decline, not only in the number of individuals of insects that are out there, but also the species. But lack of research is a problem for insects as a whole. I think the main reason this research isn't being done is it's not sexy. It's just not the kind of thing that, that catches headlines. We're pretty convinced that a lot of, of things have disappeared, but again, without, without the data, they're just stories, they're just anecdotes. Interested amateurs, or citizen scientists, have become increasingly important. I think the more people that are concerned, that are aware, that are paying attention, is going to have a huge difference. And there's plenty you can do to help native bees in your own backyard, just like Jamie. It's actually quite easy. I love to tell people, if you build it, they will come. If you plant it, the bees will come. Planting a range of organic, native plants, Jamie says, goes a long way. They like this. They also like a patch of toad flax I have by the house. We could have plenty of bees living in our urban landscapes if we just managed them better and learned more about what was going on there. So I've seen bumblebees and honeybees visiting this flower. It would be really depressing um, if more bees were going extinct because we know what we can do to fix the problem and that would mean that we weren't doing everything that we could. 